double paradigms. But before we do, check it out. I don't have a drum. But I have these cool sticks from Vic Firth. These are the 5B chop outs, and they have a rubber tip. I love these sticks. I take them wherever I go because then I don't need a practice pad. I can practice on whatever. This little tape. So put, put a pair of these in your bag and you have your practice pad with you. Alright, now before we get started, if you're taking a lesson from Dr. Throwdown, we'd always be always reminding you about you technique and, and staying relaxed. relaxed. Start out by dropping your arms down by your side and then lifting them from the elbows. Now wherever your sticks are, put your pad or your leopard print tape right in front of you so that you're comfortable. What you want to try to avoid is something like this, where your arms are, are back here and then you have tension in your chest or shoulders, or your hands or arms are up in the air. Try to relieve all tension and play comfortable. Alright, so the double paradiddle. It's in a triple meter. Double paradiddle. Double paradiddle. Double paradiddle. Double paradiddle. It's, in three. it's in three. Six notes. It's right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. The rudiment in its original basic form has one accent. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Demonstrate. So that's our double paradiddle. Stroke wise, if we analyze this, we have a controlled stroke, a few taps, an upstroke, and then two more taps. So it's control, tap, 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 the same way slow as fast is so that we can eventually get there now what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to play it fast and notice it's a nice fluid motion <laughs> That's a double paradiddle. Now when I slow it down, I want to keep that same motion. So I'm going to play it fast, and as I slow it down, notice the upstroke is still there, and we still have a nice fluid motion. That's a double paradiddle. In its original form, don't stop there. Try some different varieties, throw in some different accents. This is another common way to play a double paradiddle, and that's with two accents. Double paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle. That employs the rebound stroke. Rebound, rebound and then rebound. a control stroke. Another fun way I like to play it is put the accent on the third note of the double paradiddle. So the first and the third. Double paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle. You can even put the accent on the diddle. But when you put an accent on any diddle, don't force it and actually accent both notes of the diddle. So there's a variety of ways you can play this rudiment. You can even play it in duple meters, so you're playing over the bar line. Don't stop with the original form. Be creative and run with it.